In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Rockstar Games launcher failed to initialize error message. So there's actually a couple of solutions to fix this. The first one is to head over to the Steam application on your computer. Once you've opened up Steam, click on add a game from the left hand side, select add a non Steam game. And now from this list of applications, you need to locate the Rockstar launcher. Now it should be located here, but if you can't see it from this list, then just press browse, click on your C drive, select program file files, scroll down to Rockstar Games and double click this, double click on the launcher folder and then just double click on launcher.exe. Once you've added the Rockstar launcher to this application then just press add selected programs like this, then click on library in the top navigation and you should be able to find your Rockstar launcher and from here we can right click on it and select play and then you can check to see if that opens up for you. Now if that doesn't work what you'll need to do is head over to your start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. From the left hand side select apps, click on installed apps and then using the search box type in Rockstar. Then we need to click on these three horizontal dots next to Rockstar Games Launcher and press uninstall. Then click on continue and just give that a few seconds while it uninstalls from your device. Then we can close out of here and what you can do is head over to an internet browser and type in Rockstar Launcher Download and then you'll just need to re-download the launcher from the official website so click on the Get Launcher button, click on the button Download for Windows and once this is finished downloading you'll just need to open up the application and then go through the steps to install this to your computer. Once you get to the Install Location screen you can actually try changing the directory for this, sometimes this is also another way to solve the issue and then press Continue and then we can open up the application and check if that's now solved our issue. Now if it's still not working the next thing to do is to head back over to the start menu and search for services. Click on the services window. From here scroll all the way down until you see the program compatibility service. Once you've found the program compatibility assistance service we're just going to double click on this and you need to make sure the startup type is set to automatic and you also need to make sure the service status is set to running. If it's not already then we can just press this start button and then press apply and ok. Once you've done that, you can try relaunching Rockstar Games and that should have now solved any issues you were having. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.